lymph plays a a pretty major role in the body. I mean, typically what I describe the people is like you have tissue, you have blood, and the blood has to be clean because the blood's going to the organs. So you have like nutrition and things coming in, and then you have waste buildup from the tissue, whether it's metabolic stuff like lactic acid or toxin exposure, whatever. And that's gonna essentially go from the tissue. Think of the lymph as the filter, the in-between type of filter. And then think of the blood as everything that's clean. So in other words, like if people have like a, a gravity filter, like a Berkey filter, right? Think of the top part of the Berkey. Think of that as like your, your, your tissue fluid. That's your tissue fluid, all right? The fluid in your tissue, lymphatic fluid. Think of the filter, the Berkey filter component. That's like the lymph. And then think of the clean water you drink is like the blood. All right. So that's kind of the lymph in a nutshell. And it's really important because when we get exposed to toxins and stressors, we want to make sure that's really clean. And there's a couple of different organs that are responsible and that are involved in the process of filtering. So there's a bunch of different things. I have them listed out here. But in general, we have spleen, which actually helps make a lot of red blood cells and are really, really important for making the healthy cells that we need to, you know, to have good function. Thymus also makes a lot of T cells and lymphocytes, which are actual um, white blood cells that are involved in the lymphatic system, which is really important. They actually call attention to attack infections and really important for knocking down cancer and other not so good things. We have the lymph vessels, which are like essentially the transport pipes between the lymph nodes. The lymph nodes are like the filters, right? That's where like a lot of monocytes and other bigger players are going to live and they will start gobbling up and attacking and lysing or breaking down a lot of critters. So the lymph nodes are kind of where a lot of these things hide and stay and they will go and attack a lot of these critters. And you'll see lymph nodes swell a lot because it's gobbling it up. It's kind of like you get putting a lot of food down the garbage disposal. It may kind of like the water may kind of back up for a minute while the garbage disposal kind of breaks it all down and while it gets you know shot down the pipe. So we talked about the thymus, we talked about lymph nodes and lymph vessels and what's the difference there. The spleen's really important. We talked about that because that's where you're gonna make some red blood cells. There's also gonna be a lot of filtering of toxins there. Um, then we have tonsils, which are really the first major filters, the first major lymph in the body. And these tend to get removed because it, it's like the pre-filter that just gets black or, or congested or clogged really soon. And we can see that one get filtered up and can, can get congested and people get tonsil stones. And this is kind of the major pre-filter that gets pulled out first, which is really sad, right? I had my tonsils taken out at age five. So that's a real common thing. And last but not least is going to be the bone marrow, right? Bone marrow helps make red blood cells, helps make white blood cell and platelets. So really important with the immune system. Also, a lot of lymphocytes um, come from there as well. So we need lymphocytes. They're the cells that are going to primarily hang out in the lymphatic system. And then one more thing about the spleen. Um, spleen is the largest organ in the lymphatic system. So its primary job is to filter out kind of damaged old red blood cells. So we want healthy red blood cells. So the spleen is really, really important for that. And then basically the spleen also helps mature a lot of our lymphocytes. So that's where they grow up and become stronger and bigger. So then now when they enter the lymphatic system, they're kind of they're ready to go and they're ready to do its job and help keep the blood really clean.